Hello everyone. <laughs> I just watched what I should call it the most hilarious video in a long time or the most irresponsible video or the video that uh, when you actually say people who don't have work showing lack of work or is it majorly in the minor I, 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 or a gaslighting video I do, or a combination of all of the things that I have said so far. It's crazy. You know Adiola Fire who writes of uh, what's that? What's the name of that her program? Who, that she used to be in Sahara. Uh, 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 she used to be with Sahara reporters uh, doing this thing. Uh, is it shout it out with Adiola? But she has this great, amazing YouTube channel where she's always talking about Nigerian issue, current issue, African issues, and stuff like that. And she sort of like breaks the news in a humorous way. They say I, I can't remember. Okay, that was the name of her show when she when she was doing it with Sahara. I don't know whether she still does it. Uh, uh, does that particular show? There's this show I can't remember the name now. But she puts the news in such a humorous way that you are laughing as you're wa you're watching it, and it's quite engaging. And she has been, you know, she talks about all the ills going on, whether it's in Nigeria, whether it's in other parts of Africa and all of that. And she has spoken about the National Assembly and how much these people are earning. The House of Representative members, the senators and all of that, listed them every month, the allowances that they collect and, and, and all of that. And, uh, you know, that's what she said, though. And on the floor, floor of the House of Representative. They called out to say hallowed chamber. Do the people even understand the meaning when it's something is hallowed? You are bringing this kind of discussion. That's why he's come to say that, oh, that uh, Joe Lafayette who is talking about them, this woman, she be talking about them. She's not even in Nigeria. She's this, 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 that. In short, eh, why am I even talking too much? Just watch the video. One Adiola Fire who alleged on social media and Instagram that I, a member of this house, collect basic salary of 2.5 per month, furniture allowance 7.5 million per month, newspaper allowance 1.2 million per month, wardrobe allowance 621,000 per month, recess allowance 248,000 per month, accommodation allowance 4.9 million per month, utility allowance 828,000 per month, personal assistant allowance 621,000 per month, and so on. And very interesting for you to know that this idea of Lafayette does not reside in Nigeria, it's in the UK. And this is the same person, December time, when one of our colleagues, maybe by mistake, said trailers of rice were given to members of National Assembly. This same lady was spreading it everywhere that you should ask your representatives where is your trailers of rice. So if this house does not take a, a stand on this and take a... The house cannot take it as a case against her. I, Elder Leke Joseph Abejide, will take it up with her. Because in my own constituency, this is what is now spreading around that I take this amount. Channels at a time, I put up my salary to the whole world for, for them to see. What is it that we are hiding? We are not hiding anything. In this holy uh, hello chamber, I want to bet it with you that there are some members that cannot survive more than five days with their salaries. Even before the end of the month comes, the hey, request from your constituent ah, has already taken over Inshallah everything. And somebody who is not does not reside in Nigeria will be instigating the general public against us. And then we will be quiet. We need to start looking this for is the, people we are going to the privilege that has been breached At against me. And I believe by extension, to all members two, of this house. Of Thank you so much, Mr. Speaker and Honorable Colleagues. These are the people that they, they don't need to have money. Let's save the money. Let's put our monies together and sp sponsor them and get them there. If they go there and start doing it anyhow, 
we know how to next time we look for other people to replace until we get people that would really work for nigeria not the ones that will be coming and be discussing all of this kind of nonsense issue i remember the show that she used to Adi adiola used to do which is laughing laughing out laughing out loud with adiola you know and it's it's very interesting and her youtube channel is one great you know amazing channel if you really want to keep hearing the news that is happening in africa and also in nigeria and so what is what in essence you know the one that even made me laugh the most is where he said that oh one time when a one of their whether it's their leader or they are one of their national assembly members that made a mistake and said that they had given them a uh, trailers of uh, rice so he did not go after the person that made mistake and gave that information it is the person that is reporting what was said that is not the problem you see how they gaslight and on what basis did he now come to tell us that that, that was a mistake that the man made that was not factual? The money salaries they are collecting is telling us that, oh, the salary cannot even help some people to fight. They then stop the work now. Stop the work. We need to get these people to be on minimum wage. I tell you, if we put lawmakers on minimum wage there, I can bet you we will get the best people that we do the work for Nigeria. Because most of the people that are there are people that are ready to kill, that are not ready to work. And I can tell you, there's nobody who is going to go and work that is going to be killing or using all his money or do all sorts of things just for you to be there. It's those that know work is not their own, it's business for them. Go there and eat. So if you bring it down to minimal wage, a lot of people will not even want to do it. So it now, it now becomes a place where it is the really serious people that will now sit down there and be focused and do that. And so you took your time out to be talking about Adiola of all the problems that are plagued that is plaguing Nigeria ah, trust, I trust Adiola now take the guy go clean us now today since the guy saying head no correct and they go show and where we how where how where people where their head no correct where they supposed they don't be national assembly they supposed they, they supposed they still somewhere oh she's not in Nigeria she and is she not a Nigerian citizen the remittance she sent to Nigeria, don't, 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 isn't Nigeria get, getting from it? Must she be in Nigeria for her to speak on Nigeria issue or what? This how they just keep gaslighting. And then uh, the, whether that was the speaker or whatever, did this see, uh, the hats will look. Car. <laughs> uh, this one, a real vevekuve matter. I see people will not get work. Work no day for their nothing. No, they don't see work where they supposed to work. It's to sit down about to a dealer that is that say, okay, why don't you come and bring your money now? Open now. Say they've been talking about open now for years. Come and put that and say, instead of all this long talk, bring your account and say, see the monies that have entered my account since I, I became a senator. This is what I get. No, it don't do too much talk. Open your open up your books and then you can now use evidence to refute what she has said and say what she said oh, is the right thing or it's not the right thing. I don't blame you guys anyway. When Nigeria wake up, when I go here and for body.